am joined by Ray Brash, the CEO of Flyfish. So what challenges have you found enabling multi-currency IBANs into the gaming industry? You've got things like regulation, obviously, um, different countries in the EU, even though it's one market, different regulators have different views on cross-border currencies, and that's typically where you get with multi-currency. There's also an education there as well, because multi-currency sounds like it's perfect, but it can be complicated. Single currency is simple as well. So education and regulation have been the two biggest challenges. And can you share how integrating with Flyfish will enhance the user experience and expand the reach of iGaming business? What we do is we educate our clients. In fact, we help them on a journey. So when clients come to us with their needs, we have a solution for them and we effectively allow them to very simply get that product. We also take care of the regulation because we work with lots of different regulatory third parties and we select the right one for the right client that's suitable so the client doesn't even have to make that choice. So we sort out the choice issue, we give them the right partner for them and regulation. And what measures has Flyfish taken to ensure the security of accounts and cards within its platform? Well, we're regulated already under GDPR. We base everything on the cloud, high-level security, my tech team all come from payments, I come from payments. We understand the importance of keeping security at the first foremost. When you use our products, there's a strong customer authentication, you've got bio recognition, KYC, KYB. The one thing you cannot afford to be lax on in payments is security. It's in our blood, it's in our DNA. So yeah, absolutely everything. And have you noticed any specific issues or patterns in iGaming related finance which Flyfish aims to solve? And how will it impact the overall performance of the iGaming industry? Yeah, I mean, it's no secret that iGaming is at the higher risk end of payments because of the nature of that industry. And I think a lot of operators have struggled because their partners don't understand their business, they don't understand their business model, they don't understand their customers. And what we're trying to do is to make sure that if we're working with an operator, we understand their uh, approach to the market, their customer base, the type of products they're doing, and we match them with a regulated entity that also understands that market and is comfortable working in that particular space. So it means there's a perfect match. So I think iGaming companies have suffered from a mismatch of what they want with what their regulated partners are prepared to give. We're solving that problem by putting the two together seamlessly through a, a platform that Flyfish has built that's very intuitive and very easy to use. And in your opinion, how do you see the future of the Flyfish platform within the gaming industry? And what steps is Flyfish taking to stay ahead of the curve? Well, I talk about us often as the Airbnb of payments. So I think if you went back 10 years and asked the founders of Airbnb, did they ever think they'd be the world's largest hotel? without actually owning any hotels. So I honestly feel Flyfish has the opportunity to be the world's largest payment company without actually being a bank. Thank you so much, Ray. Thank you so much, Katie.